function of proportionality. This is a digital lesson and it starts with explaining what constant means. And here we have a table of values. From the table of values, the constant of proportionality is the y over x. And each one of these, it's a proportional table, so each one will simplify to 15 to 1. And it shows on the next slide how that works. So they have 15 to 1, 30 to 2, simplifies to 15 to 1, 45 to 3, simplifies to 15 to 1, and so on. So on slide 4, students are going to type in the y over x. So here would be 1 over 4, 2 over 8, which they're going to simplify to 1 over 4, 3 over 12, which also simplifies to 1 over 4. So they're going to write in each of the values, each of the ratios from the table and simplify. Here they have another table, same thing, 1 over 3, 2 to 6, 3 to 9, and 4 to 12. They all simplify to that constant of proportionality, 1 third. The same thing here, and again, same thing here. Now it shows them that a proportional graph will be a straight line through the origin. So if this is a proportional graph, it has to be a straight line and it has to go through the origin. And this is quadrant one. So the next slide students are going to choose which is a proportional graph. So the only one would be the upper right. Now, one method for finding the constant proportionality on a graph is to find the unit rate. So what is y when x is 1? So here they just go from the origin, go to the right one. They go up to the y value of 2. So 2 is their constant of proportionality. Here they would go to the right one, up to 4. So 4 is their constant of proportionality and so on. And they've got a few more to practice. Now sometimes you don't have a point that's at that value of 1. You could see on this graph it's 2. But if you can't tell, you could find a point that's on the graph. So for example, the point 2, 4. So y over x would be 4 over 2. And if I simplify that, then the unit rate or the constant of proportionality would be 2. So 4 over 2, simplified. Now you can also find the constant of proportionality on a graph by just comparing two points on the graph. So here, here it shows them, here's two points. Uh, we're going to start at one point. We're going to start at the point 2, 3. The y value would, would be from 3 straight up. So it would be 1, 2, 3. It goes up 3 to the right 2. So the y over the x would be 3 over 2. The constant of proportionality would be 3 halves. Here's another one example for the students. So you go up 1, 2, 3, 4 is the y value. x value is 2. So 4 over 2, that simplifies to a constant of proportionality of 2. Students are going to do the next one. And they've got a couple more using two points. All right, then we're going to go on to finding the equation for a proportional line. So it's y equals kx. The only thing they need to do is find the constant of proportionality and replace the k with that number. And there they have the equation for their proportional line. So here, find the constant of proportionality. So it would be 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 4. So it's up 3 to the right 4. So that's 3 fourths. Okay, so the equation for the line would be y equals 3 fourths x. They're going to do the next one, same thing. Find the constant, put it in the formula. And then when they get down to slide 25, they're going to type in the whole equation. And they got another one to practice. Now when they get to slide 27, you can also have the students do this as a poster. So this is a word problem. Students are going to take the word problem and they're going to create
create a table. So it says every day of the week, they give away a certain number of books. So day one, they give away three books, day two, six books. They're going to just fill this in by reading the word problem. Once they have this table filled in, then they're going to use these movable blue points and they're going to plot the points from the table. So the first one is the plot, uh, the point one, three. So from the origin, they go to the right one up to three, two, six, and they just click and hold on these and then they can move them where they like. So they're going to plot those points. Is your graph proportional? So they're going to look and see if it's a straight line through the origin. If so, what's the constant of proportionality? Where here it would be up three to the right one, so the constant of proportionality would be three. And it's actually easier to see from the table. The y over the x is three. And then they're just going to type the equation for the line. So that is a digital lesson, constant of proportionality.